Hello everybody, my name is Naif al -Muteri. Today I'm gonna present the beneficial insects. To start, I'm gonna talk about the general information. Insects are beneficial. They can perform valued services like pollinations and pest control. Beneficial insects, sometimes they call it beneficial bugs. The concept of beneficial is subjective and only arises in the light of desired outcome from a human perspective. In farming and agriculture where the goal is to raise selected crops, insects that hinder the production process are classified as best, while insects that assist production and consider beneficial in horticulture and gardening, pest control, habitat integration, natural vitality our desired outcome with beneficial insect uh, encouraging beneficial insect by providing stable living conditions is a best control strategy if often used in organic farming organic gardening or integration best management companies specialize in, bi in biological best control sell many types of beneficial insects partially for use in enclosed area like greenhouses As we can see from the picture, we can see the leaf of the plant. It's really damaged because of the piercing mouth part of some pests that they are sucking the sap of these leaves. Not all insects are harmful for the garden. So some of them are really bad for us, but we have the good guys. So we can use biological pest control to control the bad guys. What is biological pest control? As Simon Stingberg say, it is the use of living organism to reduce population of noxious plant pests. It's a good way to fight the pests. It's more better than chemicals which can harm us. So the biological pest control is really good for us. And the insects are exist like since thousands of years. But we just discovered the best biological best control in the last 120 years. First of all, we're gonna talk about the ladybug. The order of the ladybug is Cleopatra. The suborder are Pilophaga. The family are Coconylidia. Most of us know that the ladybug are a good insect. They have a reputation of reading garden and Corps from insects best, especially aphids. In middle of Europe, people believe that the ladybug was divine sent from the heaven to protect corpse. They called it the bug of Our Lady, a reference to the Virgin Mary. Over time, the name was shortened to ladybug. Ladybug also called the lady beetles, lady bird beetles. Lady beetles, both adults and larvae, are known, known primarily as predator of aphids, plant lice, but they prey also on many other pests such as soft scale insects, mainly bugs, spider mites, and eggs of the Colorado potato beetles and European corn borer. A few feed on plants. One larva will eat about 400 medium sized aphids during its development to the pupa stage, and adults will eat about 300 medium sized aphids before they lay eggs. Uh, about 3 to 10 aphids are eaten for each egg the beetle lay. More than 5,000 aphids may be eaten by a single adult in its lifetime. The adult beetles Huge appetite and reproductive capacity often allow it to rapidly clean out its berry. They will feed on the other best, but they are best known to eliminate the aphid population and are one of the most effective predators, searching from dawn to dusk for food. Ladybugs are shaped in the adult stage and when they release should mate and lay eggs within 8 to 10 days. 
Secondly, I'm gonna talk about Acminodia. The order is Hymenoptera, suborder Abacatrae, sober family Acminodia, and it's also well known as the uh, parasitic wasp. The super family Acminodia has been estimated to contain over 80,000 different species. The Acnemonium wasp are more familiar to non entomologists being large and about three times as diverse as the Baraconoids. They are solitary insects and most parasitoid. The larvae feed on or in another insect, which finally dies. Being in the same order, Echmenomium are closely rela related to other Hymenoptera, such as ant and bees. Echmenomium most species are highly diverse range from 3 to 130 mm long. Most are cylinder, with a female of many species have extremely long of a poster for laying eggs. Here is a, a demonstrator how a wasp catch an aphid and lay an egg inside the aphid body, which lie only a single egg. The larva is feeding in the aphid in the larva stage and when it's getting to the pupa stage it's kill the aphid. This is a wasp halfway through the aphid. When it's hatched and it's a female, it takes just few hours to go and mate and lie around like four hundred eggs. So it's take around like 400 aphid to die through three days because the wasp only lived for three to four days. Finally, green lacewigs are insects in the large family Crossopedia of the order Neobetra. They are around 85 genera and 2000 species. While depending on the species and environment condition, some green lacewig will eat only about 150 prey in their entire lifetime. In other cases, 100 aphid will be eaten in a single week. This is a, a several countries, million of such uh, crossopedia are related for sales as biological control agent of insects and mites pests in agriculture and gardening. They are distribu distributed at, as eggs. Each adult like lie around like 100 to 200 eggs Eggs are placed on plants, usually where the aphids are presented nearby the numbers. Each egg is hanging on cylinder stalk about 1 cm long, usually in the uh, underside of a leaf. Immediately after hatching, the larva molds, then secure the egg stalk to feed. They are voracious predators attacking most insects of suitable size especially soft body ones such as aphids, caterpillars and other insect larvae, insect eggs. Here is the references. Thank you for listening.